Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'd like to talk about what happened to this HP Chromebook. I know it is hard for you to see it in this angle, but if you kind of pay close attention to it and tilt the computer in the side, you can see that there's a lump right in between the touchpad and the space bar. It's really bad. So, and the battery is not holding the charge. So what that means is that the battery is swollen from the inside out so that means it's pushing it's swollen and pushing it and I can feel like the trackpad is not clickable and the space bar is kind of hard to press in all right so let's go ahead and troubleshoot hopefully we can um, see if the battery is removable if it is we're going to change out the battery all right so let's go ahead and shut down the computer this is HP Chromebook the model of this is kind of hard to see uh, HP model 14 DB 0023 DX I think that is the model of this Chromebook all right uh, we need to remove some of the uh, the rubber here is covering up the screw so let's peel this thing off get a Phillips screwdriver start start removing all the screws here I'm using a Phillips screwdriver so just a regular screwdriver remove all the screws The screws are not the same size, so as you remove them, you want to pay a close attention knowing which screw goes where. At the end of it, when you put it back together, it will be a lot easier. Okay, so once all the screws are removed, I'm going to stick it right in between the gap here. And one problem with the computer, because every time when you turn on the screen, when you open up the screen, the uh, the computer would just try to turn on on its own. So you might have to keep shutting down every time. Okay, at this point, I just removed the, uh, the keyboard. I'm just kind of tilting it down. Do not pull it up or anything, because the, uh, the cable are still attached to the motherboard. So you do have a... a trackpad cable right here and a keyboard to remove it let's see so this little white clipper see the index for the trackpad that little white clipper has to be open so it was closed like that and then to open it up, you just have to kind of flip it open, but don't break that and slide the cable out. So that is for trackpad. And then for keyboard, it's the black one here. Flip it open and then remove that keyboard. So the entire keyboard will just come right off. If you're looking for a keyboard replacement, unfortunately, you can't replace just the keyboard itself. You would have to change out the whole keyboard okay and the trackpad as a full assembly that's how they make it it's not a replaceable the key on its own and here you can obviously see that the battery is swollen 
sure if you guys can see it it's kind of like you know there's a lump to the battery and that is dangerous okay so to remove the battery just remove all the screw okay there are four screws in total Once you have removed the four screws, put it on the side, peel that little tape back and you can see that the connector is here and slide the connector down. That little white connector, just kind of slide it down and this is the full battery right here. Okay, it's pretty bad, the swollen is, is pushing the keyboard and the trackpad. Now where to find the replacement is right here, GB02XL, that is for the battery. If you're not sure where to buy the battery, please check the link down in the description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery. And when it comes in, all you have to do is just a reverse process, right? Install the battery to reconnect the connector. All you have to do is just slide it back in, push it back in. And then you want to pay attention to this. The gold metal part is facing up. If you look at the bottom, it's flat, there's no gold metal dots on it. So making sure that this part is facing up to the sky, okay? And then just kind of close it in. And then to install a keyboard, you just have to put in the flex cable in and close the connector. Same thing for here, making sure the clipper is open, the trackpad, slide the cable in and close it down. And install all the screw, you should be all set. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. If you like the video, please smash the like button for me. And if you do find this video is helpful and you want to show your appreciation, please click on YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to share your gratitude to support the work that I do and my channel. And I really appreciate you for doing that. Until next time, bye now.